My name is Sophie Meekins and I am a speech neuroscientist at the University of York and this is my smashing stereotype story. I'm a speech neuroscientist. What that means is basically just that I study what brains are doing when someone talks in conversation with another person. Quite often people say to me, oh, are you researching speech because you're deaf? But ages I was like, no, because that would be a really stupid decision um, as a deaf person to then go and study something that I can't physically perceive very well. What has really inspired me to do this is I have lived experience of communication disability. So that means that I, you know, I, I love talking, but it's always an effort for me to have a conversation. That really made me a bit more conscious of what's going on in those interactions. So it made me think more deeply about it. And also to empathise quite a lot with people who have some kind of difficulty producing speech. And that's the kind of path that my research has gone down. So I would say that's what made me really passionate about it. Interestingly, I don't have any science A-levels. Um, I've got some science GCSEs, but I actually originally went to university just to study English. I found myself getting more and more interested in like how humans communicate with each other. And so I ended up doing a science master's looking at that and then a PhD in cognitive neuroscience. Some of my earliest memories of science are my parents taking me and doing science things with me. So they just decided to teach me um, themselves. They made science really fascinating and exciting to me. And we did experiments, um, we, made, um, we made bubbles, we made DNA from a kiwi. Seeing science as something that was fun and interactive. When you're at school, you always get told, you know, the decisions you're making now are the most important ones, they're going to determine your whole life. Um, but that wasn't true for me. Um, I didn't do science A-levels and now I'm a scientist. Um, and I think that the most important thing is actually just to do what really interests you at that point in time, because there's so many opportunities, there's so many different paths you can go down to get involved in science at any point in your life that you don't necessarily need to feel like you have to make that decision now and you have to know have your whole life planned out for you.